Welcome to the ESI Africa studio. Today I am speaking with Professor Emeritus Roland Schulze, uh, who is from the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Welcome, Roland. Thank you very much indeed, Nicolette. Um, I believe you have been nominated for a Lifetime Achievement Award yet at the African Utility Week in the energy sector or the electricity sector overall? The, let's water, talk, the water sector. In the water sector. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. And so let's talk about what it is that you've been doing over the, the few decades that you've been involved in the water sector that has put you in this position for a Lifetime Achievement Award. Well, I was very lucky to have had uh, at university many mentors, but two mentors stand out. And those mentors uh, taught me um, scientific integrity and digging deeper and digging wider. And uh, as I went on through my honors degree and master's degree, I became very interested in water. And at that stage, a book was published called, a book, the book was called Principles of Hydrology. And I was absolutely inspired by that and continued studying that towards my doctorate. And uh, I later worked in England with a person who had written the book and was further inspired. When I got back uh, to the University of Natal, I managed uh, to get hydrology, which is the study of the water cycle. I managed to get that accredited as a degree course. Previously, it had been taught a little bit here and a little bit there, but never as a focused uh, uh, discipline. And it grew from there, from, a, from essentially a one-man band to a larger and larger research group. It was primarily in research that I was interested in. Uh, through um, funding from the National Research Foundation, the Water Research Commission, various government departments, and uh, the whole research institute grew from there, as did the discipline teaching many, many hundreds of students and many dozens of masters and doctoral students. Um, and I had many opportunities nationally and internationally to sit on commissions and committees. And uh, through that, I became known in South Africa and known internationally. As a water, water expert? As, as a water expert. And I developed many relatively innovative um, um, procedures in the water field that make the study of water resources in South Africa, which is a very water scarce country, uh, to, make, to make those scientifically sounder. Then um, in the late 1980s, before climate change was the flavor of the month, <laughs> right. I was introduced again by one of my former mentors, by now a colleague, um, to the field of climate change. And uh, for the past three or so decades, that has been my focus. Looking at climate change in an applied field, climate change applied to water, what is likely to happen, where things are likely to happen, where they are likely to change, how we adapt, and similarly in the field of agriculture. So I've, I've crossed a little bit from water into agriculture, back to water, and uh, that is where I stand at the moment. So in, t in terms of the, the city of Cape Town, uh being a uh, water scarce city and, and having to put these uh, procedures in place to uh, stop consumers from overuse. Uh, what is your advice to the city? Well, my advice to the city is obviously to plan proactively. Now, I'm not making a judgment whether or not they plan proactively, but they, can, they cannot do that by themselves. They have to do that together with national government. So national government is responsible for the bulk water supply the big dams and whether or not they did their homework I'm not debating now and then the city of Cape Town has to distribute the water amongst its people and make sure that the water is that there is enough water and uh, so yes it's been a it's been a big lesson to us uh, in th throughout the country I mean Cape Town has been particularly badly hit but we in KwaZulu-Natal were hit as well with a severe drought and we have to learn right. to work better with the water we have, not to be wasteful. And you have certainly learned here in Cape Town not to be wasteful. And uh, that may well be the way we have to go into the future. So um, in terms of uh, the engineering field and the water sector, what is your advice to somebody that is considering studying in that field? First of all, I think it's a very exciting field. 
because nowadays um, the engineer and the hydrologist work closely together, but they're also integrated with uh, town planning, with agriculture, with health, uh, with environmental issues. So it is a very wide field. It is a very integrated field and is such really a thrilling field to get into uh, for the future because we have to think broader than a single discipline in the future. Oh, that's very good advice. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Pleasure. Thank you for watching. I'm Nicolette Pomba editor of ESI Africa, coming to you from the African Utility Week.